Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back. Today, obviously, we're here to, unlo to unbox the latest Halo Legendary crate, the theme being the Flood. But before we do that, I before we do that, I want to apologize for my absence as of late. My very notable absence, notably since the end of PAX back in September. Um, if you want to hear the full story about that, wait till go. Um, I'll have that at the end of the video. But for now, just for anyone else who doesn't want to sit through that, I am sorry. Hopefully, as of now, I am back. Because I had some stuff in real life that threw things into turmoil. But again, we'll get to that at the end of the video. For now, unboxing. So, once again, theme is the Flood. Let's take a look. And of course, start out with that gorgeous, gorgeous inner box art. This time, an infected brute. Beautiful. Yep, depending on your definition of beauty. Anyway, first up, of course, is the Intel. So, rather interesting. First off, we have this card, or this, uh, I don't know, card, whatever. A readout, I guess, for Subject Denver, a Sanshayum named Allo Subeka, born December 2nd, 2454. So, you know, a little on the older side. Uh, just short of 100 by 2552. Um, lineage, Sebalim Tet. Now, this is a new character. That's a new lineage, so nothing really to note there. Uh, let's see. District Terrace of Illumination. Sounds familiar, but... Or Terrace of Illumination, sorry. Um, Providence, Third Cloister, High Charity, Vice Minister of Abnegation. So, yeah. And you can see here, he is being held at Midnight Facility... Lambda block cell, 56, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of cool. Now, now the intel around him, so it looks like uh, um, Fireteam Apollo, sorry. <laughs> Obviously been a while. Fireteam Apollo requested the uh, interview with this guy. Oh, let me get that a little better in frame. Requested the interview with him that was done after his recovery uh, from the Colas system by the UNSC, by the, or sorry, not, I don't know about UNSC, but by the Corvette Coral Sea. Now, the UNSC Coral Sea may sound, or uh, sorry, may sound familiar to a few of you as it was featured in both Halo The Ghost of Onyx and it was featured in a few descriptions for Waypoint, notably some scans of um, Installation 05 that would eventually be used to make War Games maps, but anyway. Um, not necessarily in Halo 4 or 5, I don't remember exactly, but you know, with the whole all of multiplayer being canon, or all the, all the maps are canon multiplayer maps, or canon war game maps, you, you get the idea. So, they requested this interview uh, that was taken with uh, Subject Denver back in, the, back in 2552 after his recovery. And very interestingly, he mentions encountering Cortana. Uh, the exact passage is... Can you tell me the nature of this voice? It was a huge... It was a human, a female, I believe one of your artificial intelligences, a human AI? Yes. So he heard, he, while he was running from the flood, he heard the pained cries of Cortana. And he mentions later on that she might have been infected by the logic plague. She was in pain. There were no words. What was wrong with her? I don't know. Perhaps she had, she had encountered the flood, but she's an AI. What could the flood do to her? Has your kind never heard of the logic plague? So, for those of us who have been pushing the Logic Plague theory, and I'm especially calling out Hidden Xperia specifically, because he's the local Flood guy, that seems like vindication. Now, as much as that may seem like it at service level, do keep in mind this is Loot Crate Intel. Don't take its word too seriously. But, nevertheless, that does seem like vindication. For a lot of people. But for now, we move on. Obviously, we'll save this for later. First, next thing up will be a little flood plushie. I can get this damn thing open. There you go. Little skitterers on the bottom, little flood things. Ain't that adorable? Obviously, we got a nice shirt. Let's see if I can get that in full view for y'all. 
Spartan exterminators with a little picture of it's kind of a mix. I think it's supposed to be Mark VI though, the Mark VI, Mark VI armor, so Mark VI chief carrying a gravity hammer here, about to squish a little <laughs> infection form. So that's pretty cool. Oh, nice gold shotgun pin. That's pretty cool. What we got here? Ah, yes, the Needler pens. Not easy to get out, but there you go. It's pretty damn cool if you ask me. And last but not least, of course, well, not last but not least, but whatever. I fucked up there. Next up, I should really say. Ah, little Awakening the Nightmare piece. Brutes taking on the Flood. That is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Now, last but not least, Halo Icons figure. I don't know if I assembled it all right because it doesn't look like the flood infection form goes anywhere mm -hmm. specific, but there you go. With that <laughs> utterly ridiculous face, I just <laughs> I can't get it. On the unfortunate side, one of the growths, I guess, broke off. Yeah, there, I think. Like that. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see. So, I'm gonna have to glue that back on, but you know. This is like the eighth figure I've received, and this is the only time one of them has been broken, so I can't say I'm that upset. Anyway. And so there you have it, the latest loot crate. Overall pretty good. The intel was actually very interesting, so I'm very happy to, to say that. <laughs> and uh, then, you know, the knickknacks were pretty cool too. I always like a little plushy. My companion cube now has a companion. Awesome ass poster as always, good figure, like the pin. The shirt, of course, added to my shirt collection. I'm actually wearing the uh, Great Schism shirt right now. So yeah, overall a pretty good crate, one I enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling on at this point. Obviously, the only downside was that little bit. But so, the next crate is going to be themed around Halo 3. The figure has been revealed. If I remember, I'll put the figure into the uh, video right about now. I'll put the uh, art if I haven't already. Um, and hopefully the intel is at least as good as this. Like, this wasn't, this wasn't great intel, but this was acceptable intel. And at the bare minimum, that's what I want. Acceptable. Something interesting, something new, something that hints at something greater. Or just provides insight. And this did at least one of those. So, I'm hoping for at least that with Halo 3. There's a lot of mystery, or not mysteries, but plot holes and questionable logic surrounding Halo 3 that can, that can still be explored. Hell, even if it's just a clearer explanation of the events of the grave mind coming from installation 05 over to the soul system because um catalog talked about how he was detected over mars but i don't know if that necessarily means over mars like how we might normally imagine like seeing in the sky close enough to rain down flood pods or if it was just close enough for mars to detect because space is vast and i imagine especially if we take nightfall at face value and assume that the unsc can track things across the known universe which is theoretically possible but if you want to ask me about that i can talk about that in the comments a bit but regardless um i think the unsc could probably detect something that's you know stellar on a stellar scale close to mars but not necessarily on a human scale if that makes sense anyway so and you know from there up to the uh up to the arc and whatnot so anyway there's a lot of interest that's just one thing there's a lot of interesting possibilities to explore with Halo 3, and I hope they really take advantage of it this time on like Reach. Anyway, so this, yeah, this is the latest crate. I liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully this is gonna mark me returning to YouTube, essentially. Um, and for those of you who stuck around until the end, here's the explanation, more or less. I can't say it's gonna be satisfactory, but here is the absolute truth for anyone who's curious. 
Right as I was leaving for PAX back in August, I got a call from my landlord and they basically said, hey, when your rent's up, which was at the end of September, or I should say not my rent, but my when my lease was up at the end of September, prices are going to be raised, or the rent is going to be raised by $250 and we'll, we're going to have to move you into a renovated unit. Now, that basically gave me a bit of a mini panic attack, especially because I basically lost a week of time when I was in Seattle. Um, you know, basically dropping it on me right as I was leaving for that and then leaving me for a month to try and find a place, pack things up or figure out, you know, if I was going to stay here and pay eleven seventy five a month, which is essentially half my monthly income. Uh, from my real world job, by the way, not <laughs> YouTube or, so, or anything. And, it, um... So I was essentially scrambling for a solution and then at the end of September I managed to strike a deal with the my landlord that put me on a temporary uh, extension while they renovated another unit uh, nearby. So the, the plan at that point was that I would move into that unit or I would at least take a look when it was ready, which it was about a week, week and a half ago now. Um, and by then, you know, at that point, I was still scrambling around trying to find a new place to live. I had somebody who was willing to room with me, but we couldn't find anything. So that was obviously driving my anxiety levels up. I was cut. And on top of that, it's just been getting really busy at my real job. So anxiety is the basic explanation here. I just didn't have time for YouTube. I didn't have the drive for YouTube. Anything I would have put out in that point probably would have been shit. I mean, I'm not exactly proud of the most recent uh, Halo Rise of Atriox video. Definitely feels like some of my worst work since I started, so yeah. But at this point, I have made a decision. I, I have found a place to live. Um, I'll be moving out soon. And with that, I've been able to calm down. I've been able to collect myself. And... In essence, because of that, I have the drive to do YouTube again. So here we are. Um, so I hope that was an explanation, not necessarily an excuse. If I'm lucky, hopefully that was a satisfactory explanation. For everyone who is stuck around in this time of absence, this time of uh, this content drought, thank you for sticking around and... I don't deserve such a loyal audience, I don't think. But hopefully I can earn earn that from you. Hopefully I can deserve that in the time to come as we kind of play catch up with Halo Wars 2 Breakdown, which ultimately will include uh, Operation Spirit Breaker and Awakening the Nightmare and catching up on book reviews because, God, I haven't even read Retribution yet. I've technically, I technically haven't even read... Uh, Warfleet at this point <laughs> but things are things are kind of balancing out so we're gonna get on that so once again thank you all for being patient with me thank you all for sticking it out is you guys are amazing I say it at the end of every video but you are the reason I get to keep doing this kind of stuff like even if I wasn't making money off that if I didn't have as many subscribers I'd still have a passion to do this to some degree, but knowing that people are enjoying it, seeing those views, seeing that sub count, it's something I have I'm, I have trouble describing, so. Once again, I keep saying it, but honestly, thank you. Thank you all. This has been Halo Cannon, and I will see you all next time. Real soon.